today I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely gorgeous book tumbler. This was from one of my past designer boxes where you get three custom mixed glitters that coordinate with two vinyl sheets. Make sure you join my free Diamonds and Dust Facebook group for more information. And I also try to go live over there and show you guys some more tips and tricks. This is a fun tutorial. I'm super excited to show you. So let's get started. Today we will be working on a 32 ounce plump from the Tipsy Magnolia. Mine is already white because it's a mishap sublimation tumbler, but yours does not have to be white or even painted. Just give it a good sand. Then when it is all sanded, take your Cami Page Boutique Ultimate Tumbler Tool and make a vertical line going down the side. This will be our mark that we are going to line up our template to make sure it goes on our tumbler straight. If you have not seen seen my tumbler template hack there is a video i will try to remember to link it down in the description where you put some contact paper over the top and it is a lot easier to paint and lean and it leaves really clean lines so i have already put the contact paper over my printed vinyl and then i have cut out the template on that then i'm going to line the template up on the line we created and apply the template to my tumbler. We will be using these three glitters. This one is chapters, then we have novel, and then we have captivating. These three glitter colors and this book vinyl came in a past designer box. It also came with an additional piece of vinyl and they all coordinate. If you want more information on those, make sure you join my Diamonds and Dust Facebook group. There is a link for you in the description. Now we are going to remove that contact paper and the vinyl on the sections that we are going to apply the glitter. Since there is vinyl in between each section that I want to glitter, I am going to remove all three sections. Now you're going to grab your favorite glitter glue and pour some in a little medicine cup. My new favorite glitter glue is Tumblr Poxy's Poxy Seal. When I snagged this, I thought I was just grabbing another kind of like quick seal, but this one is totally different. You can use it as a sealer, but you can also use it as a glitter glue. It's super thick and the adhesion is amazing. So it is now my new favorite glitter glue. I'm going to paint the thinner lined section with the glitter glue. And since we have that contact paper over our pattern vinyl, you don't need to be super careful. Just kind of slop it on. And when that section is all coated with glue, take the glitter color chapters and sprinkle that on. As you can see here, I painted an ombre in that middle thicker line. I forgot to record myself, but I just took some chalk paint and painted kind of that light lilac in the center and then faded that out to kind of a periwinkle blue. Once that paint is all dry, you're going to take your glitter glue and you're going to apply it a little bit thicker than normal because we are going to ombre this. So we don't want it to dry on us before we can even apply the glitter. So my little trick to that is just apply your glitter glue a little thicker than you normally would. Mm -hmm. 
Now take the glitter captivating and right in the center of that purple section that we painted, we're going to apply glitter pretty heavily. And then we are going to tilt our tumbler down and just let it cascade a little bit going towards the bottom. And then we are going to tip it the opposite way and let the glitter just cascade towards the top. Now take the glitter color novel and apply, apply it pretty heavily towards the top rim and then let it cascade into that purple. And then you're going to do this, this same thing on the bottom rim where you're going to apply it pretty heavily, heavily towards the bottom and then let it cascade into that purple, making that really soft and pretty ombre. Now, don't forget to do the bottom. I do that all of the time, and then I remove that shelf liner way too soon, and then I have to be super careful. So don't be me and forget that step. I'm just going to take the epoxy seal, and of course I gotta use chapters. That has to be my new favorite gold. If you guys have ever used my glitter color Nectar or Cheeky, they're like super, super duper soft and super shiny. They are a totally different film like than the average glitter and chapters is that same film. So it is definitely a must have in your collection. All of the supplies from the box are now on my site separately. So just make sure you look for those. Now you are going to carefully pick up that shelf liner off of the printed vinyl. I usually just use my little picker tool and pick at the top layer until I can get a little bit more to release. And then I just grab and you are going to pull it right off. That will leave a super crisp line and your vinyl super clean. Now you are going to spray seal your tumbler really well and let that spray sealer dry and add a coat of epoxy. Once your epoxy has cured, you are going to cut out two different sizes of stripes on whatever vinyl you would like. I am using this gold textured vinyl. I cut out some thicker stripes and then more of the thinner. I am going to take the thicker stripe that I cut out and place it on both sides of the thicker section on on our tumbler. Now I'm going to take two of the thinner stripes and place them about a quarter of an inch away from that thicker stripe that we just placed down. This just gives your tumbler a little bit more of a visual interest and this is how you can also make sure that it has that customized look. Take two more of the thinner stripes and place them on both sides of the gold glitter. Trim any excess overhang with an X-Acto knife off of the top and bottom rim. And if you're going to place a decal, go ahead and add a layer of epoxy to ensure you have a nice smooth surface for that decal application. I'm going to place my decal right at the bottom of my tumbler. I am using this SVG that says just one more chapter. This is one of the SVGs that came in this month's Google Drive for my mentorship group where you get eight new SVGs every single month that are free to use however you would like. 
You also get half off of all of my Tumblr templates. I do one exclusive tutorial over there every single month. And you also get commercial free YouTube content where I add in a few more tips and tricks of the trade. If you're interested, make sure you click the link down in the description. After your decal is applied, go ahead and add your final layers of epoxy. And here is our tumbler all finished. I am super obsessed with this new angled template. I can just see it used so many different ways. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial.